Hello everyone, this is Lexi from Rome Lab, and today we are making bus bars for our DIY lithium battery project. Bus bars are short strips of conductive metal for high current electrical connections. While our renovation of a 1970 Avion truck camper generally deals with low current demands, to meet the high current requirements of our DIY lithium battery, we are diving into bus bars. These simple metal strips will connect the terminals of individual lithium cells to create two 24 volt batteries for our camper. You can get more details on bus bars, what material to use, and how to determine the right bus bar dimensions for your project on our website, roamlab.com. For now, we're going to dive into making your own bus bars. For this project, we'll be using a bar of copper number 110, a saw, a drill, heat sink, and a heat gun. First, we use a miter saw to cut our copper bar into two and a half inch sections, just enough to cover each battery cell terminal that we want to connect. It is worth noting that copper is a very efficient conductor of heat. We make sure to use a blade designed for cutting metal. Even so, the bars are very hot after cutting. Be sure to wear protective eyewear and clamp the material in place when cutting these bars. Once the bars have cooled down, we finish them with a file to knock off any rough edges. With each bar cut to size, the next step is to drill holes on each side. We use these holes to bolt the bars to the cell terminals. Similar to our use of the saw, the friction from the drill bits can heat the bars quickly. When drilling these large holes in the copper, it helps to start with a small bit and gradually work up to the ideal hole dimension. Even so, the holes should be as small as possible to maximize the amount of copper that is in contact with the battery cell terminals. Unfortunately, there is a slight variation in the battery widths, so one hole arrangement is not suitable for every cell. We handle this inconsistency by drilling two holes that are the diameter of the terminal bolt and then filing the edges to make the single elongated hole. Technically, bus bars do not need to be insulated, but all the exposed copper poses a danger. It's too easy for some conductive material to drop on the bars and short the battery cells if we don't protect them. Adding shrink wrap does not entirely remove the risk of shorts because they will still have some exposed copper to make the connection, but it helps. We cut the shrink wrap just long enough to cover the length between the two battery terminals. Then we use a heat gun to shrink the wrap as a tight insulating cover. This process gets hot, so we use a pair of pliers to hold the bar and let them cool off in a metal bowl. Cut, drilled, and insulated, all that's left is to hook up our bus bars and start building our battery. And there we go! You can get more details and pictures on our website, roamlab.com. If you found this helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to Roamlab for future projects.